Good morning. <clears throat> it's like nine o'clock now. And we are headed down to check out the breakfast. And we also asked yesterday if it was be if it, if it would be possible to stay in this hotel for another night. So she said probably. And she was gonna confirm today, so hopefully she can confirm that too. Um, we also tried to ask about the breakfast. Is there if there was any vegan options there? But I'm not sure. She said no, and then I or first I don't think she understood what vegan was. Um, so I'm not sure if she said that they didn't have any, or if she said that they didn't have. She didn't know if they had any. Because we said like, do you have any vegan option, or is it nothing at all? Yeah. No. I'm like, yeah, but not what? Yes. <laughs> And so we will see. If not, I still have some snacks and like protein bars and stuff. Go um, out as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but apparently, like eating vegan here in general is not like the easiest thing ever. No, uh, I feel like it's easier in Tirana, probably. Tirana was a lot easier. They yeah. had a lot more options. Um, the dress is smaller, so. Yes. Um, the dress is smaller. And then Happy Cow didn't really have a lot of options. Um, Google did if I like Googled vegan, but I'm not sure how accurate it is. Yeah, a lot of places are able to have any like grill vegetables, basically. Yeah. And, yeah. So we will see, but first we'll see what is downstairs. Yeah. Maybe like I'll eat some like fruits. Probably. Yes, but like bread. Yeah. And like jam. Maybe some something uh, nuts. Potatoes, or... maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We will see what they have. So they had nothing vegan, so this is gonna be my breakfast today. these little market boutique thingies and now we're headed to the amphitheater which is right behind here Hey guys, we have been on the beach yes. for a few hours. We had a drink, we swam yeah. twice, and now we are going to get some food. So we're headed to Mama House, yeah. which is apparently a very good restaurant in here, in um, Duras. Yes. And they're also supposed to have vegan options. We'll see. So we will see. <laughs> I can see it now. It's right there. Nice. Food. Food and probably soon again. Yes, <laughs> more drinks. <laughs> more drinks, yeah. <laughs> We are back from lunch, which took forever. So we are ready for another swim. And there's a dog here and she is so cute. We are gonna go for a swim. We are saying goodbye to the beach life for today. We're headed back to the hotel to take a shower and get all the salt out of my hair and skin. And then we're gonna change. And then we're probably gonna go take a drink before dinner. Some work done, so hopefully, I'll get most of it done while at least it's in the shower. I am full, so full of salt, I am so ready for a shower. Hi, 
doggy number one and doggy number two. So many dogs, there's five dogs in the roundabouts. This is my food. I ordered the vegetarian fajitas without cheese and the guacamole just does not taste like avocado at all. It tastes like lemon and then there's just like rice beans and peppers. There is no salsa. <laughs> Good morning. It is 6.45 and we are getting picked up by our taxi. So we are headed off to Budva today. <laughs> yep. So we arrived, we found the bus. It's here very early, so he just put all our stuff in the trunk. And then this is the Tirana Kutur line. There is a surprising amount of leg room here, especially for us short people. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, from her seat is broken, so she can't lay on it. Because so it just falls back into the lap of the person in the back. And the bus is so full. So I think there's like one or two free seats on the entire bus. We are in Montenegro now and we have a stop in Podgorica and then our next stop is Budva which is where we're getting off. Yeah. <laughs> the bus is very cool as you probably saw and uh, we're almost there. We are over an hour late so yeah, very ready for a couple of nights in Budva. Everybody, we are finally in Budva after 70, uh, seven and a half hours on a bus that was supposed to take five and a half hours. It had a bit a lot of troubles and stuff. Yeah. But we had air conditioned the entire way, which was great. And some of the seats didn't really work properly, so Elisa had to change seat a couple of times. Great time! Great time! <laughs> We're staying at Astoria, an old town, for tonight, and then yes. to, uh, tomorrow night we're headed to Freedom Hotel. Hostel, which is also in Alton. So we are gonna drop our things off at the hotel, take a swim, find some food, get a drink, and go to the bathroom. Yes. Because I haven't been to the bathroom since this morning. Same. <laughs> Hello. We are checked in to Astoria Boutique Hotel. Our room has a beautiful view of the ocean, and we are just gonna get ready and head into the water because it is boiling so first off this is the view how beautiful i don't know how you can enter this terrace but yeah and then uh, we have a double bed and then we have a little workspace a little tv um, bathroom is in there elise is in there right now um, and then you have this little wardrobe situation which also has a safe 
and a fridge and the fridge is full of stuff um, and we are probably going to use that for our own stuff as well. Food time soon. <laughs> so this is a skylight and this one is a Singapore sling. So we got food. We both got burgers. I got burgers and fries and Elisa apparently got just two burgers. <laughs> they have vegan cake. I am so curious. We are back at the hotel room for a while. I'm not sure what time it is. My phone died a while back. 8 it's 8.46. It's 8.46. Probably just gonna chill a little bit. I need to get some more work done so that I don't have as much to do tomorrow. Since we have the entire day in Budwa tomorrow. Yeah. I'm tired. Oh, I've spent way too many time Ugh, hours on a bus today. But we got to play with kittens. Yes. Which was really nice. They were super cute. Yes. They were by the docks. Yeah. And they were so playful and they were playing with each other and like hiding around us and they were playing with my <laughs> flip-flops and they were adorable. Yes. And then we just did some wandering around in the labyrinth that is Old Town <laughs> Boudoir. Oh, she's here. The um, receptionist came upstairs because the bed only had like one cover so we asked for another one and they had some trouble finding a cover and a cover for the cover that was the same size. And then we got to order our bus from Budva to Dubrovnik, which is on in two days mm -hmm. so that it doesn't sell out before then because the bus today was so full. So I was lucky in there for broken seats. Twice. Twice. <laughs> the third, third time the charm. Yes. I got to see that was not broken for the last like one and a half hour. Yeah. <laughs> Out of like seven. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people got off when we got to Pod... Pod the, Podgorico, which is a terrible word to say. It's, it's difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult to say, Podgorico. Yeah. And I had Wi-Fi, or like, it didn't have Wi-Fi, but I had roaming. Because I got a new SIM card to be able to use roaming in uh, Albania and Montenegro, which is not included in my regular plan. Thank God <laughs> I did. Because I had Wi-Fi for a trip that lasted like two hours longer on the bus than it was supposed to do. Like Elisa said, it's like nine o'clock. And... We are just gonna chill. I don't know if I'm just gonna. I have to work a little bit. I really don't feel like it, but I gotta. And then I'm gonna find just something to drink. Maybe some snacks. I still have a lot of snacks left from the bus trip. I didn't really eat that much. See if my phone is ready to get turned back on. I didn't get any pictures because my phone died at, like right after we ate, basically. Uh, but the food was really good. There was a lot. I was very, very full. Still am, actually. But look at the cute kittens. Yeah, the kittens look, are adorable. Look at them. What was this one of them? <laughs> look at that. So cute. And there were like seven of them. Yeah. And their mama. We will see you tomorrow where we will be wandering around in Budvat again. And then we will be checking out of Astoria tomorrow and into Freedom Hostel. Which first, we walked past earlier. First time for you for hustle. Yeah. Properly. Properly, yeah. I have stayed at a hostel before, but yeah. with my class in high school. And we filled up the room, so it wasn't like the same. It was just like a packed hotel room, basically. Just without all the amenities. So, quick little update. We booked our tickets from Budva to Dubrovnik on a Thursday at 9.30. And then we booked three nights with a hostel in... Um, Dubrovnik at Angelina. We are looking at doing two nights in VAR and then we have our two nights in Split booked already. Vegetables. We'll see, see what happens. Um. So we are having breakfast. We're in the uh, breakfast area of Astoria. So they had soy milk here which is really nice. It was pretty cold so I just drank it right away. I'm very curious to see what I actually get to eat. Um, I think it's gonna be like different veggies and some bread. Vegan options aren't that easy everywhere. The neighboring cafe has a vegan burger, which was pretty good. 
and uh, they also have soy milk. So I think soy milk is pretty common here, but not like other vegan options. So here's my food. So it's fries, mushrooms, tomatoes, a little bit of salad. And then we got some bread. I'm not sure if I can eat the bread. And then I'm not a fan of mushrooms, so I'm just gonna pass that over to Elisa. I got toast and blueberry jam. <clears throat> and then there's also some honey and butter, but that just went straight to Elisa. Breakfast and soon. I need to get some work done. I am done working. I also packed up all my stuff. Lisa went to the beach and she hasn't packed and we have to check out in 30 minutes. So I just sent her a text saying, because her side is <laughs> a little bit chaotic. Um, yeah, so she got us a, um, a sunbed. There's not that much sun outside, but I put on some sunscreen and then I'm just going to take my stuff downstairs. I just have like my backpack here with my like sneakers and stuff if we want to walk around and I don't want to wear flip-flops. I'm gonna carry my stuff downstairs and then I'm gonna ask if they can print our bus tickets. Because all bus tickets here have to be printed when you're using them. See my color is almost gone right here. This is what's been in the sun, I guess. And then everything else is more blue than it was. We have printed our bus tickets and now we are going to the beach. It's not that sunny outside today. Um, so I'm just gonna find Elisa. She's on the beach somewhere so that I can take my place and then she can go pack. This is a juju, which is a pastry. So we are sitting down for some uh, snacks and some drinks. So I just have some cold brew with oat milk. And she got a drink, which is strawberry fields. We have been swimming, wandering around a little bit, had some food, and we're gonna pick up our luggage and check it into the hostel. Yeah, we took a code for coming here today. We have checked into our hostel, and this is the common area. And there's like travel things everywhere, like maps and. It's very nice and cool in here too. There's an air condition on. And then on the other side is the kitchen. And then there's a balcony. situation going down here yep. this is where our bus drove when we got here the view is amazing and Budwa is so beautiful so this is all of Old Town which is like a labyrinth in itself very pretty labyrinth though So these are the ruins of the old church here, which is the Santa Maria de Castillo, which was operated from like 13, uh, 12th to the 14th century.
trying some local beer today. This is really good. I should have tried this before. Even I like it. Yeah. I like beer. I don't really like beer that much either. No. But I feel like it's always fun to try the local yeah, ones. It's really nice. This is very good. We're about to find some food now. But they were closed until 8, or the kitchen was closed until 8. So we gotta wait until then to go back. <laughs> and here is mommy cut. <laughs> I just want to adopt everyone. They're so cute. <laughs> so we're at royal garden and they have a vegetarian vegan part of the menu so this whole thing is like vegetarian and vegan we're get both getting another of the nikshiko beer and then for food i'm getting the buddha's delight which i'm not sure if it's a bowl or what but it looks really good I got my food and it has protein. Look, tofu and chickpeas. It looks really good. And then she got a walk and we it's got really beer. Nice. And I have 2% battery, so I'm <laughs> gonna change. <laughs> I'm basically all packed up for tomorrow. I have clothes. Shoes, socks, my toiletries. And then I'm wearing this shirt that I brought as a PJ. And that's just going in my backpack tomorrow. So this is my bed for the night. There are eight beds in this room, but I think only four are occupied. Good morning. We are headed off from Purva to Dubrovnik today. Mm -hmm. So it is like 8.30 almost, and I'm just drinking some, not Red Bull, but it tastes like, like Red, Red Bull. Bull. Yeah, she spent the big bucks and got the real oh, thing. Yeah. I couldn't care Rich. less. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I was holding us off. <laughs> and we just packed up all our stuff, and we're basically ready to go. It's like a five-minute taxi ride or whatever over to the bus station. It's a bit early. We are headed out. We're staying at Hotel No hotel hostel Angelina in Dubrovnik and then we have booked a history and Game of Thrones tour for tomorrow I gotta try. I so yeah mm. We are on the bus headed to the Dubrovnik now and we are looking like maybe getting like a couple of seats for ourselves which is awesome. Um, so the bus is supposed to take like three hours or so and we'll see if it actually takes three or if it takes like four or five. Um, yeah, I'll keep you posted.
breakfast.